first we're going to Ruby Anna Ruby Anna Ruby Falls which is like a less than a mile out and back hike and then you go to the waterfall and that's about it and then we're going to go to Raven Cliff Falls which is a little bit longer it's like five miles We just got done with the Anna Ruby Falls, and now we can hear ourselves. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> you can still probably hear the falls behind us, mm -hmm. but um, that was a pretty cool place. Um, almost a mile, about a half mile out, half mile back, so not a terrible thing. And the, the trail is improved, so it's paved, and it's an easy hike. A little bit of an incline, but not that's terrible. more incline than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was going to be steep. easier than that. But um, now we're headed to the, but well, we're going to go eat some lunch in Helen, and then we're going to go out to the Raven Cliff falls which is moderate <laughs> and it's almost five miles which is why we have these backpacks that fold out into chairs because I have feet issues and plantar fasciitis and it's not fun so I have to stop every once in a while and take a rest off my feet um, me, but it's all good me fighting off this cold I'll probably yeah, she's got a cold too so it kind of works out too. yeah so anyway um, see you over at the Ravencliff Falls No, oh, you didn't fall. I didn't fall. Dang. Sorry, maybe next. I was hoping time. for some good fall footage. Yeah, keep watching. <laughs> A little babbling brook. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to know a chick named Brooke in high school, and she babbled a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you <laughs> <pick> <laughs> yourself out. That would have been like instant karma for Brooke. <laughs> I feel like people walking past are judging me for having the stick. Maybe they're jealous you have a stick. There's like 80 year old women, no, small no. children, no, we have seen no three legged children. dogs, no children. none of which have sticks. I got a stick. It's only supposed to be a four degree incline. That's average. more than four. Than the, that's more than four. Yeah, I mean, way more. Well, I've been retired from the army for two over two years now, so. A walk to the mailbox seems like a four degree incline, but uh, well, anyway, well. don't judge me because I got the stick, man. Don't stick hate. Stick helps me. Yeah, stick but helps me too because I feel more like 
that. in charge of stuff. You know, when you walk exactly. around with a stick, you're like, I'm obviously in charge. Yeah. I have a stick. Well, I have a stick Whoa. too. Well, you know what I'm saying. It was always like that in the military too. You like walking a rug march, like whoever got the stick, you know, Sergeant Major got the stick, or first Sergeant got the stick. I was the first, and I had a stick. I mean, hey, and then it's like a soldier pick up a stick. Well, hey, put the stick down. What's wrong with you? Ain't hey, charging nothing. Not. Got no stick. But it's multi purpose. It's not just for the hiking. Yeah. I mean, you come across something, you gotta move it. You yeah. Move it. And then you Mate. can, yeah, you can poke a bear with it. Yeah. Come out and then y'all. You can hit a wasp nest with it. Yeah. Yeah. All kinds of cool you uses. You film and not pay attention. You slide down. I can like reach out with my pole and yeah. pull you back up. Grab my stick. <laughs> Stay strong, little stick. It, yeah. Yeah. Like that one time when I had to help you pick up your bike when you dropped your motorcycle, I had to help lift it. I'm editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I felt a little guilty when I first started filming and talking about the stick, but now, you know what? I'm rock this stick. Yeah. I don't care, people think. Yeah, you're never going to see him again. Stick hate. Hater's going to hate. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I think we're almost there. I think so. I'll yeah. show you the falls when we get there. Yeah. Come on. Can you see him? People have sticks. <laughs> They're like 900 years old, but they got sticks. So I don't feel as bad now. You got stuff in your shoes? Like what kind of stuff? Like it feels like someone like purposely mulched the bottom of my shoes, like on the inside. No. I got a ton of stuff in my shoes. How do you have stuff in your shoes? I don't know. I'm like a, an aggressive walker. It kicks things up and they get in there. Here. I think it's the stick. Yeah, it must be. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, when we get there, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna show you all the stuff. If you have stuff in, your in my shoes, shoes. I, I do. I got stuff in my shoes. I don't know. Like, look at all this stuff. See this stuff? <laughs> like half the stuff in that shot in my shoes. I can't fathom how it got there. <laughs> I'm looking at all the stuff I got in my shoes. Okay. Let's take a look. I got some stuff on my socks here. Some mulch and stuff. Look at all that. Oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> it feels like... We it, stopped for that? <laughs> There's more than one. <laughs> Hang on. It, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Look. Look at, oh, look at all this. Look at, look at all this stuff. Huh? I killed something from a bare foot. <laughs> <laughs> something got in there and got on my Look at this. You ain't gonna believe this. Look at that. Oh my. These things are jagged. Oh my god. <laughs> These are jagged. You, they you, they poke you. Look. I'm gonna they poke feel bigger. you. <laughs> <laughs> they feel a lot bigger than they are. Apparently. It, it doesn't look as bad as it feels. Trust me. And, and the camera doesn't even do it justice. They're much bigger in real person. But the camera <laughs> adds 10 pounds, so they should have been huge. <laughs> I feel like a new yeah. man. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, pep in your step. I'm a stick back, man. I'm in charge. I don't know if you're worthy of a stick in your <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Seems that we have ventured past the end of the trail. Just a tad. It doesn't say. No, it didn't say. So we came to a place that was the biggest fall that we had seen so far. And we're like, that's cool. Man, the real one's probably huge. Well, that was the real one. Yeah. <laughs> but there's not a sign that says, like, this is it. Yeah. This is Raven or a, a cliff fall. Background history. There was a dude in a hammock. Reading a book. Reading a book. <laughs> And, uh, and that was it, I guess, because mm -hmm. I'm like, man, it's taking forever. Like, we should be there. I looked at the map, and luckily I had enough... Reception. Yeah, I had enough reception that to, to, I could look to see where we're at. And we were... The trail on the map's like a dotted line. And we were like, past the dotted line. We're still past the dotted line. We mm -hmm. just now stopped to get a drink and stuff and chill because we probably went half a mile to a mile Extra. past 
the end of the thing. And the end of the thing was 2.4 miles. Mm -hmm. So we've probably gone at least three. At least. One, one direction. Mm -hmm. But we gotta go all the way back now. So probably another three miles back to the truck. came back to town to get a pretzel this is last night in Helen and when we came back to get a pretzel we realized they have funnel cakes with ice cream on them so we had to get we had to get that instead we're gonna get a pretzel take back to the house yeah but we had to get one of these funnel cakes check this thing out with chocolate ice cream on top <laughs> so, that's insane that's ridiculous it looks so good it's gonna be so good all right we gotta go because we gotta eat this <laughs> Had to show you what we what we came back home to with, with <laughs> Scout. <laughs> His current situation. He's had a rough day. Yeah. Look at you. He's just chilling on the log. Got the back leg kicked off there. <laughs> he goes to bed at seven, and it's about five till seven right now. So I uh, we were. Hurry up to get back home before his lights went out because uh, he likes to Snug. snuggle with Leslie <laughs> before he goes to bed. But hey, while we were in town, we went to the um, Hansel and Gretel. Actually, we, we went there earlier. Yeah. And then when we went to dinner, we went back to the big candy store. They got everything in there. We already talked about yeah. it earlier, but they got everything. And um, you're supposed to, like, you know, moderation. I have no self-control. We did not do that at all. That whole six miles that we walked yesterday, cancel that. We just, what did we get? We got, um, a lot. Leslie likes the, the um, cotton candy jelly beans. So she'll get like just the cotton candy jelly beans and they have the jelly bean, jelly belly dispensers. So she got her like half a pound of jelly beans and we got the little sour strips. I like those. And then of course we had to get some chocolate. We got like assorted chocolate bark and pretzels, Oreos and stuff. And Lauren, uh, we had to get something for Lauren, but it's something that wouldn't like melt or, you know, whatever. Cause she she, loves. So we got her some saltwater taffy because she loves saltwater taffy. But anyway, this was our, this is our little haul from the, uh, from the uh, Hansel and Gretel's candy kitchen. Mm -hmm. But, um, we could have got way more. Because everything looked awesome. Oh yeah. There's I mean, they had 
Oh, oh man, yeah, I was I was gonna get like chocolate covered Rice Krispie treats. They had like chocolate covered like coconut stuff. Just like the, the gourmet apples. Yeah, the like chocolate or not the chocolate, the caramel apples, and then like rolled in in M and M's or chocolate chips or peanuts or crushed almonds or mm -hmm. everything and anything and, you can think of, and candy apples and the truffles and the peanut brittle and the fudge. They had like the gi gi gigantic <laughs> chunks a budge in every flavor you could think of mm -hmm. crazy man we're gonna put this cat to bed and then we're gonna eat all this stuff well, not all <laughs> save some i'm gonna show y'all this this ridiculous routine stop <laughs> she got the blankie he sees the blankie yeah, and he's he like does. oh snap blankie look at the guy he ain't even Hi. i got your baby he ain't even moving you know oh, blanket. he sees it. You know the blanket. It's cold, Tom. It's cold, Tom. Oh, it's snug. Watch it, you butt up. There we go. Yeah, we snug. And we retire to the recliner. Let's see, we're already getting sleepy. And. He's gonna look out that window. And then he gets covered up. And then in like 30 seconds he'll be sleeping. Yes. Well, that's a wrap for Helen. Yeah. We had a really good time. A really good time. Typically we're gonna be staying at places longer than, you know, three or four days. I wish we would had a little more time here, but I don't know we would have survived it. <laughs> Financially. <laughs> Financially or like into the hole. nutritiously. <laughs> I'm getting anyway. over my sickness. I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I'm getting the sickness. I'm just starting the sickness. Yeah. I hope it won't be too bad driving home tomorrow. But um, anyway, it was an awesome, awesome time here. Yes, it was a good R and R from all. It's our last trip. It's our last non full time no, trip. No. No. Well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Our last non full time yeah. because we closed in the house two weeks from right now, mm -hmm. and then we'll be moving into the RV full time. We're going to move the, full, the RV over to where Lauren's at. Mm -hmm. um, now, we do have a trip uh, in July to we'll be in, over there by where Lauren's going to college. We'll be there from, from the time we close in the house, May, until September 3rd, September 3rd which is our, our road launch date. We do have a trip to Ohio in July, so that will be our last trip that's not Mini really full-time traveling, but we'll be living full-time in the RV starting yeah. two weeks from today. Well, two weeks from... Monday. Monday. Two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, um, but it was good because there, we had so much going on. We've been busy. Man, just Crazy. getting everything ready and downsizing and getting Lauren's stuff ready and her apartment and... School stuff. All that Graduation stuff. stuff. She, she's getting ready to graduate and, um, you know, moving stuff and just getting everything. Inspections, appraisals. It's, yeah. It's been a lot. It's been crazy. So. We needed a break. This was like a little mini vacay for us, which was really cool. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>